Okay, so this is bulk reading and updating millions of items in seconds with Azure Cosmos DB uh, Spark Connector. Um, so what do we mean by read many items fast? What's the use case that we're talking about here? So this is where you have uh, a large subset of records, uh, for example, millions uh, from a much bigger data store, let's say billions, that need to be retrieved quickly. Uh, and you, you're running a query with a filter and that's simply not fast enough. And things like um, comparison websites with large numbers of items uh, or more likely IoT scenarios, uh, massive bulk read and replace uh, scenarios, or even event-driven architectures where you have batches of documents that you need to process uh, quickly within a certain time window. And so the trade-off that you have here, obviously, is that um, if you're doing this with a query, then it tends to be low cost per record, uh, as in processing cost, but very high latency if you're bringing back a lot of uh, records, uh, and the queries can be quite complex. On the other side, if you're doing point reads in Cosmos DB, um, these will be low latency, but it can be high complexity to have achieve what you want. High RU cost per record. So uh, if you're doing a thousand point reads, that will be a thousand RUs. It won't cost a thousand RUs to read a thousand documents in a query, uh, but relatively speaking, the latency on the query side will be higher. Uh, and of course, high client side compute cost as well. If you're needing to uh, span out multiple machines or cores or threads or whatever uh, to do point reads in parallel, this is going to be expensive. So what's the solution here? Is there an answer uh, to this this uh, difficult trade-off? And the answer is the Read Many API. So uh, a while ago, um, we added the Read Many API to the Java SDK. I blogged about this um, several months ago, and lots of customers have been using this since then. Uh, and we've added or we've enhanced the Spark connector in Cosmos DB uh, to um, uh, improve various uh, operations and also expose a way of doing read many in Spark using uh, the same API that we have in the Java SDK. So what does read many do in the Java SDK? Well, it's actually a surprisingly simple uh, convenience method. All it does is allows you to uh, pass in uh, an ID and partition key pair list um, and then the method will work out the partition key affinity um, of each of the records uh, and then divide it into separate queries uh, and execute those queries in parallel. And if any of those um, groups uh, only have a single record in them, a point read will be executed, otherwise a query will be executed. So then there's an extra, extra uh, optimization uh, there to sort of strike the sweet spot between uh, running queries uh, with a slightly higher latency but lower RU cost versus running uh, um, point reads um, with lower latency, but higher per record uh, um, uh, cost. Um, and so, yeah, it'll work out the partition key affinity. And this is most efficient when the pair list is somewhere between 100 and 1,000 records. So it's a, it's a convenience record. It kind of lets you trade off um, those two things that I mentioned. And this is okay if you need to read, quote, unquote, many records, but what if you need to read many, many records? What if you need to read millions of uh, documents or records in the database? Then you're still stuck with the problem because if we seem to have this uh, um, high water point in the in the Java SDK of around 1,000 records, it starts to degrade after that, much like a, a query would do. Um, of course, we've added, as I've already said, enhancements in the Spark Connector to be able to read, uh, to use a uh, read many and execute instances of read many in parallel with this same uh, optimization. And uh, max item count in Spark is used to control uh, the number of ID, uh, ID and partition key tuples that are passed to the read many method in each instance of its invocation within the Spark uh, framework as this is being executed. Um, so the trade-off then becomes more like or closer to what you really want, which is low latency in this scenario, but still fairly low complexity because it's all been abstracted away using read many and fairly low RU cost per record. Still high client side compute cost. After all, Spark is not cheap. Um, you are still uh, having uh, resources being spun up, but this is all done for you uh, to some extent by uh, virtue of the, um, the abstraction um, that is Spark. And so in the Spark Connector scenarios, 
uh, that Read Many API makes better will be, of course, just scalable bulk read of millions of documents is much easier now. Uh, and also patching millions of documents in the scenarios where that's uh, what you need to do. So I'm going to show a little demo. Um, and there is a um, samples folder within the repo for the Spark Connector uh, where you can find out how to do similar kinds of things that I'm going to show uh, here. So let me just flick to my other screen here. Um, and I have a notebook that I'm running in uh, Azure Databricks um, for Spark. I've already set up some basic uh, things here. So of, of course, credentials that I've hidden here and then setting up the catalog API that's needed in order to use uh, the APIs that we surface in the Spark connector uh, for Cosmos DB. Um, and then I just have a little cell here where I'm just going to run it now, which is going to read back uh, the data from a Hive Metastore where I've uploaded um, a CSV file uh, that contains or should contain, let's see, a million uh, records. Let's just have a look here. You can see there there's a million uh, records in this uh, data frame. Um, and there's some data in there, obviously. And this data is data that I want to um, that I that I actually want to uh, retrieve. I want to use these ID and partition key pairs to retrieve documents from Cosmos DB, and then do some onward processing after that. And then I've got a, a property here as well. But really, this is the information that I want. Maybe this is a, a, a field that I want to update somewhere else. Uh, once I've got the data from Cosmos DB, but I'm being passed, if you can imagine, uh, all of this information from some other source somewhere, and it's telling me you need to uh, read all of these um, documents uh, quickly from Cosmos DB. So how do I do that? How would I typically do that? Well, the approach that you might take would be something like this, uh, a, lot, a rather long and inefficient query uh, where we're just kind of crunching through uh, the data and uh, in this case, we're just taking all of the IDs and dumping them into an in-clause. And of course, you can't dump a million IDs into a, an in-clause in a query because it, it won't allow that. So you'd have to chunk this up into chunks of size 1,000. Uh, and then even if you could put the IDs all into the same in-clause, this would be a cross-partition fan-out query. And even if I were to add all the partition keys as well, Keeping in mind, this container is actually partitioned by ID and another field called partition key. Even if I could add all the partition key values in there, it would still be a cross partition query, um, albeit not a fan out query. Um, so ideally, what I want to be able to do is be able to just divide this query into different groups, into different chunks, and each query, query only be querying all of the IDs in a given logical partition. And then ideally, I also want to be able to mix that with point reads where it's uh, where it's more efficient, where there's only one or a small number of uh, documents in the, in the given logical partition, which is, of course, as I already said, exactly what Read Many API does. And I forgot to run my uh, query here, but let's just run and see how long this takes to run. In fact, I think it's probably going to take quite a long time. So while this is happening, let me talk about the read many API approach instead. So this is a good deal uh, simpler. I have some configs uh, set up here, but most of this is, is default. I have a max item count of 1,000. Remember, I said that was the property that would control the number of ID and partition key tuples that would be um, passed into the read, each read many API call that is happening in parallel multiple times across the Spark cluster. Um, if uh, this container were uh, partitioned by ID, then I wouldn't need to do anything else. All, all I'd need to do is uh, uh, pass in the data frame and uh, the read config and then the schema, and that's it. I'm just calling uh, this read many API method here. Now, in this case, I've partitioned by a partition key as well, so I do have to do a call uh, to a user-defined function that is going to um, concatenate uh, ID and partition key in a certain way and put them into a, a field that I'm going to add it to my data frame called item identity. Uh, but beyond that, it's pretty simple code, as you can see, and that's all that I need to uh, run. Let's check on the progress of my long query here. You know what? I think that's going to go on for a long time, so I'm just going to cancel it. I'm getting bored already. Let's run Read Many API. Again, you can see here I'm, I'm using the, exactly the same data frame. I'm just doing a little quick transformation to add this column 
in order to provide read a, uh, many API with what it wants in this instance, and that's it. So let's see how much quicker uh, this one will run. And I barely even finished saying that, uh, it's running just over a second. So you can see that I've got back a million records in just over a second, which is obviously a huge improvement over what you might typically be wanting to do in this uh, scenario. Now, uh, after you've done this, you might uh, have some downstream uh, uh, functions or, or things that you want to do with this data. For example, here you might be joining the results with your original data frame in order to write the data to Cosmos DB. And of course, that might take longer and it will be um, dependent on the throughput that you have available in, in the database. But a cleaner um, and simpler approach would be to use a new strategy that we introduced recently uh, for writes called item bulk update. And what this does is it will uh, read items behind the scenes using read many API and then patch the item locally. It will also handle uh, uh, conflict scenarios as well. If, if something is being updated at the same time, it will handle that scenario using a e tag uh, and precondition uh, checks as well. Um, and so you'd also need to specify. In this case, I remember I, I had uh, one property uh, that, that was there. It was those weren't all of the properties that are in the documents that are stored in Cosmos DB. But I can just specify the property that I want to patch. If I specify item bulk update, that's going to run and it's going to execute with read many behind the scenes. I think in this case, yeah, it looked, took a little little over four minutes. I don't have many uh, resources provisioned in my uh, container here, so I'm sure I can get better performance than that. But that's one way that you can use read many uh, API in one go, along with patching um, uh, and updating the data in the database as well. So that's everything. That is how to uh, read millions of items fast with the Azure Cosmos DB Spark Connector.